It's Saturday night once again, ladies and gentlemen. And it's time for another edition of Hoops Action dito sa Maharlika Pilipinas Basketball League. We thank you for joining us here. We're coming to you live from the Batanga City Coliseum. This is winner take all Saturday earlier. We saw the Bacolod Bingo Plus winning over the Jensen Warriors 77 to 73. Now, Mark Montuano, the all star from the Bacor City Strikers, looking to get. This victory over Cedric Ablaza and the rest of the Batanga City Embassy Chill as they earn the right to face the Rizal Central Mall Golden Coolers in the next round of our playoffs. This is Maharlika Pilipinas Basketball League. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Happy Palanya, joined by Coach Louis Gonzalez. Coach Batangas went on to win a dominant game one, but they lost a close one in game two. Now everything is up in the air. Dina natin alam kung ano mangyayari. Yeah, okay. Like uh, we talk about okay, during our first game, I think today is just is a matter of destiny. Talagang eh, both teams okay equally match. Okay, both teams are healthy. Both teams okay having all of their players okay uh, ready okay for the war ngayong gabi. That's right. Uh, we have players coming back from injuries. We have players coming back from suspensions. But, but before we find that out, we have the third member of our broadcast panel, Ms. Gianna Lianes, bringing the action from Courtside. G, how are you? I'm loving the energy here at Pitaga City Coliseum. I also want to say magandang gabi sa ating mga kaligan na nanunood ngayon. Ito na nga ang final playoffs game for this MPBL regular season. It's going to be so exciting. I think for both of the teams that are about to play, one of the biggest things for them right now that will get them to win is really preparation. So I have a lot of reports about that throughout the game, and I hope you guys enjoy it. Back to you guys. Abangan natin yung mga reports si Gianna later on. For those of you who cannot be uh, able to troop dito sa Batanga City Coliseum, you can catch us. We're gonna be live. We're live right now on 1PH and on our Facebook and YouTube channels. Uh, but before we delve in to our pre-game discussion, tignan muna natin ang uh, action sa ating social media where uh, we have the newest uh, segment ng ating MPBL shoutouts. Sabi ni Marie Glenn sa Longa, Santiago, good luck. Bacor Strikers, Bacor Anti-Oxidant, nakasupport na kami hanggang dulo. Trust in the Lord, you can do it. So na naman si Armand De Castro, sabi niya, Good luck, Kuya Don Ochea. Si Norman Stevens, sabi naman niya, Tiwala, kumpiyansa, at depensa, laban Bacor Strikers, go for the win. And last but not the least, AC Dabasi says, Good luck, Batangas Embassy Chill for the win. Shout out, Soy Darwin Lenor. And if you want uh, to get featured sa ating MPBL shoutout, don't forget to use the hashtag MPBL Playoffs 2022. Let's look at our updated playoff bracket. Earlier, we saw nga ang ating uh, Bacolod Bingo Plus winning against the Jensen Warriors. Completed na ang ka sa ating North Division and one team na lang ang inantay natin sa ating South. Yeah, we're just waiting for this. Okay, ito yung other bracket, or the other groupings ng ating uh, South Division bracket. And again, this will be an exciting one. Uh, Ming, siguro, okay, if, okay, if the both coaches talagang kinausap sila na yeah, okay, everything's online right now. Okay, we don't actually, ito yung ayaw natin scenario kasi ito yung pinaghandaan natin, ito yung pinagtrabahuan natin. Okay, let's give it all, okay, sa laban na to. That's right. So, uh, the playoffs, uh, rather, the division semifinals will be starting on Monday. But unang-una, alamin natin muna kung sino ang mananalo dito sa dalawang kupunan na to. Let's talk about what happened in Game 2 where it was very competitive compared to Game 1 where Batangas just dominated that matchup. But in Game 2, that happened in Inares Sports Center in Pasig. It was down the wire. Uh, Bacol, Bacor managed to get on into a six-point advantage. But Batangas zoomed in into the final minutes. It was able to make a game out of it. But the strikers just had a good finishing kick. Again, with Bacor strikers, is refusing to lose. Uh, alam mo yun, ayaw pa nilang matapos yung, ser yung series na to. And yeah, okay, uh, Javi, ito, this very uncharacteristic na do sa game na yun, they force itong Batangas Embassy Chill na mas madaming turnovers compared to them. So they, they took care of the ball well. Okay, nat alam mo naman na ito yung lakas ng Pampanga, ng Batangas Embassy na i-force ka ng turnover. Okay, then, syempre alam mo naman natin, okay, pag may mga kulang sa mga players, 
medyo mahirap yan. And I think in that game, Coach Cholo really, really misses the importance of importante. Okay, si Jack Sapina, and I hope he's healthy right now. Now with Bacoor, right now, I think this team will just gonna keep on fighting. And uh, aside from the turnovers forced, uh, maraming key statistics sa ating uh, numbers ang dinomina ng Bacoor City Strikers. Gave them gave the Batangas City Embassy Chill a dose of their own medicine. But uh, in that game too, we saw two players step up for their respective squads. And these two players are the snipers from both teams, really lit up uh, the shooting in that game from three-point country. Mark Pangilinan, galing sa Bacor City Strikers, and Levy Hernandez mula sa Batangas City. Okay, especially these two guys, okay, they're known for as the sharp shooters ng mga teams nila and that is their role kahit sang team naman sila magpunta and they really delivered okay, in, the, in their last game. So I hope na ganun pa rin for tonight. Levy was 60%, 6 out of 10 from downtown. Mark Pangilinan, di naman nalalayo dyan, 50%, 4 out of 8 and uh, really helped their two teams with uh, in the end, the Bacor City Strikers of Mark Pangilinan ended up on top uh, to give them their team a victory in that game. Yeah, exactly. Imagine, okay, with that kind of three-point percentage, you do it today, okay, definitely, this is gonna be a very, very, very nice game. At uh, narinig nyo na yung crowd ngayon, maingay na ngayon. But first, uh, let's talk to these two players who are with Gianna Lianes at courtside. Mark, I'll start with you. During the last game, pinakita ng koponan nyo na walang underdog dito sa playoff series na ito. Anong naging reaction ng team nyo from that last win? Uh, yung panalo namin, uh, masaya yung team pero hindi pa tapos yung series na to. So marami pa kami pagtatrabahuhan para sa game na ito ngayon. Levy, ikaw naman ang sinabi naman ni Coach Cholo sa inyo is that naging masyado kayong complacent or relaxed during that last game. Anong pinag-usapan nyo bilang isang koponan before this game para hindi yun mangyari ulit ngayon? Ah, uh, sige ganyan, oh. lalo na kaya do or die na, no. So, gagawin namin lahat ng best namin, lalo na na home court namin. So, uh, siguro uh, wala nang bukas na eh. Kaya gagawin lang namin lahat ng best na magagawa namin. Thank you very much. Once again, that was Levy Hernandez and Mark Pangilinan. Now, let's turn it over to our Coliseum Barker, Miguel Pere, for the start of the game. Tonight is tonight! Who will complete the semi-final cast in the South Division? Welcome to Game 3, Win or Go Home, Winner Take All Quarterfinals between Bacoor City and your Batanga City. This is the OK Bet, Manny Pacquiao CMPBL fourth season. Playoffs presented by Extreme. Let us now meet the starters. First, for the Bacoor City Strikers. Two guard, number zero, Dave Moralde. Starting at center, number 17, King De Sacramento. Small forward, number 14, J.R. Khalid. The other guard, number 21, R.J. Ramirez. Also at forward, number 10, Mark Montuano. The head coach for Bacor City Strikers is Willie Generalao. Assistant coaches Aldrin Morante, Marlo Corpin, Alan Patrimonio, Jun Protego Caldad, and Marlo Aquino. Team manager is Mr. Dennis Abelia. Assistant team manager is Lauren San Jose. Team consultant is Brian Laganus. Team owners are Mayor Strike Revilla and Miss Shay Capal Revilla. Number 27, King Importante. Starting at going, number 9, J.R. Villanueva. At guard, number 10, the Mighty Termite, Rudy Ninganai. The other forward, number 22, the Sniper de Mexico, Levy Hernandez. And starting at center, number 43, Jexer Apinan. The head coach for Patanga City, Ambassador Chill, is Cholo Villanueva. Assistant coaches, J.R. Aquino, Warren Capitan, John Arenas, Dino Ponce Enrile. Team managers are Jerry T. and Gina Alabanza. 
Assistant team manager is Goldberg Olea. Team owner is Lucio Tanker. Starters for this ball game: RJ Ramirez, Dave Moral, the King Destacamento. Against the Cup, Destacamento, Mark Montuano, JR Galit. Para sa Bacoor City Strikers, the practically the same five from game two. And para sa Batangas, Rudy Linganay, John Ray Villanueva, Jexter Apinan, Levi Hernandez, and King Importante. Now we're seeing the return of Jexter Apinan and King Importante to the lineup. King Importante having been suspended in Game 2 while Jexter Apinan did play in Game 2 but uh, was rushed to the hospital before the end of the first half. But we're happy to see him back right now. Not yet 100% uh, we'll be hearing from Gianna later on to the status of Jexter but uh, he is going to start this game for Batangas City. Okay, you can see right away, okay, right from the start. Okay, after calling out the play, nakita mo na agad yung defensive preparation nitong uh, Batangas Embassy Chill. Okay, after that play called, after that cut, nag-change up agad ng depensa. So, preparadong preparado sila papasok ngayon. But Bacor forces a stop on the first possession of Batangas City and they push up the pace. Galit. Back to Ramirez, Destacamento, ball fake, perimeter jumper is all dead para kay King Destacamento. Okay, that is huge okay, for the this Baco or Strikers team na makakuha ka ng mga mal, ganyang maliliit na contributions dun sa mga players na bigla na, bigla, na pinagkakatiwalaan ni Coach Generalao. King Destacamento had four points in Game 2, did not miss from the field. Villanueva from the left corner. That is money from downtown. Now, John Ray Villanueva only scored five points in their last outing. So, okay, with this kind of confidence and trust na pinapakita niya kay Coach Solo, alam mo yun, as a coach, ang laking bagay yan eh. Uh, hindi lang yung mga players mo, even you yourself, okay, you get relaxed. He was one out of five from downtown in game two. It was si John Ray Villanueva. So seeing the goal, ball go through the net on his first attempt really will be working wonders for his confidence as you see that three-point shot that he just made. Three to two is our count early on here. Ramirez bounces it off to Galit. Sidestep. Great move right there by J.R. Galit. Hey, kung mga homegrowns nitong... Uh... Bako or City Strikers, talaga nagpapakilala agad dito sa ating uh, sa start pa lang ng Game 3 natin. Oh, Dexter Apinan gets prime position inside and able to get the two points. Yeah, that's one thing. They really need to uh, take care. Okay, the adjustment in that screen, the screener action na ginagawa na itong uh, Batanga City. Uh, alam naman natin, sila, ito sila Apinan. Okay, okay, so used to do sa mga schemes ni Coach Cholo at kumpiyansa sila dyan. But on the other end here for Bacoor, using a flare screen to get Moralde wide open on that left corner, and he knocks it down from the outside. Yeah, I don't know, uh, Havik, what's happening here, but it seems that okay, it's a high-quality game. Sobrang taas yung field goal. Pero ang nagita naman natin, eh, it's okay, all coming from execution. Eh. And uh, contrasting coach to what happened in our first game earlier. Kung saan, labo-labo yung naging uh, opensya ng parehong kumpunan kanina, Bacolod and Jensen. Exactly. There are only spurts kung saan uh, nakaka-execute yung parehong team. But right now, these teams, Bacolod and Batanga City, really heavy on wanting to execute in the half court. And that's another three-pointer para sa Batanga City care of John Ray Villanueva. Yeah, and the opposite corner naman, di ba? 8 to 7, Lamang ng isa ang home team. Ramirez airballs that one. Lingana is surveying the floor. Open yet again is Zare Villanueva. That's short. Battle for the loose ball. Possession points to the strikers. Yeah, hindi pa tinitira ni John Ray Villanueva yung bola. Nagsisigawa na yung crowd natin dito. <laughs> Here's the three-point shot from the opposite corner. Galing dito kay John Ray Villanueva. Two three-pointers, six points in the game to lead his team so far. Yes, you know, another guy that's very important right now for Coach Cholo is this, is this guy, Rudy Linganay. If he, if he can keep it up, okay, sa ganitong phase ng game, 
Okay, mas mag mas stable. Okay, yung magiging offense ni uh, Coach Cholo. And Rudy's numbers in the regular season have not really been, you know, as what we are used to seeing galing sa kanya. Pero yan yung mga veterano dito sa MPBL. Uh, you know, it's a long season. So medyo nagko cruise control muna sila throughout their campaign and then pagdating ng playoffs dyan talaga sila dumitik-tik. Yes. Uh, that's right. I'll turn you over to Gian Lianes for her first report. Go ahead, G. We have unfinished business. Ayon kay Batangas Assistant Coach Warren, yun ang ultimate motivation ng Embassy Chill ngayon dahil may need to redeem themselves ang boys from their past when it comes to getting a championship. The day after their last game, hindi daw nag-practice ang Batangas. Instead, they met up at the gym to watch their film to see lapses, especially in mindset showing complacency. In Coach Chola's words to the team, Bacoor is not a pushover. The win is already there, but it is not given to us. We have to grab it. At dahil na very crucial ang laro ngayon, Jexter Apinan is not feeling 100% from last game's injury, but is still pushing himself to play. Back to you guys. Thank you for that report, G. Two things struck me in that report by Gianna, which Coach Cholo mentioned. Unfinished business in complacency. Both of us know, Coach, that Coach Cholo Villanueva, malalim ang pinahuhugutan niya dun sa dalawang sinabi niya. Yeah, and totoo yan. And ako, even I, eh, I feel for Coach Cholo because alam ko naman, eh, kay being here, alam ko, that's the goal that he wanted. Okay, to finish those, yung mga question marks na naiwan ng mga previous seasons natin. Now, ta totoo rin yung sinabi niya na about this Bacoor team. Okay, remember, this team has a winning tradition. And throughout the season, alam mo, nagbi-build up sila ng nagbi-build up. Okay, so that kaya nilang makipagtapatan sa mga teams na tulad nitong uh, Batangas Embassy Chill. They were struggling, uh, sabi mo, uh, itong Bacoor at the start of their season. But with the entry of guys like Dave Moralde, itong si John Hamon, really gave them a boost, especially in that two-guard and uh, three-spot, which uh, catapulted them to more victories individually now in the playoffs. Yeah, again, and, and this is the playoff time. More or less, alam na ni Coach Willie kung papaano niya i-maximize yung talent na meron siya right now. Sige, nakilala niya na kung pa, alam niya na kung paano gamitin si RJ Ramirez. Alam niya na kung paano gamitin sila, sila Mark Pangilinan. And now, even now, okay, I'm surprised na nabigyan niya na rin ng minuto itong si King Destacamento. That free throw by Dave Moralde was brought to you by Extreme Appliances. Ang subok at kompletong appliance brand ng Pilipinas. And uh, that's the thing, Coach Tamaka, that you pointed that out. It's the rotation for Coach Mili that has been sort of a problem for them. Kasi sobrang loaded ng talent niya eh. So, hindi niya alam kung sino ang gagamitin niya at certain moments of the game. But in game two, we saw na medyo nag-stabilize na ng konti. And that's why they were able to end up with that win. Traveling forced here by the strikers. That's a turnover against Dexter Apinan. If there's one thing that I wanted to see on both teams today that will give them okay, a chance okay, to win it or to compete is I'm gonna okay, observe okay, yung composure ng both Batanga City, Embassy Chill at itong Bacoor Strikers. They talk about composure. You just saw the turnover story on your screen. Batangas already with three. Remember, we talked about it at three game that the strikers were able to force 19 turnovers laban dito sa Batangas City, which they converted into 29 points. Exactly. Kaya, doon mo makikita na nag-perform si RJ Ramirez kasi ayun yung strength niya. This guy is known for his hardcore defense, hard pressure defense, and when, they, when he forces a turnover, talagang nagpa-fly out kagad to. One of the premier two-way defenders here in the MPBL. One guy who needs his defense to fuel his offense. They're talking about defense fueling their offense. The strikers looking to convert on this possession after that stop. However, this Nakamento missing on that jumper. You can see the face of the game. The are ups and downs. Okay, alam mo talaga, ubus, mag-uubusan tong dalawang team na to. Okay, this is gonna be a good game. This is gonna be a good fight. De La Virgen could not give and go. And that is the second traveling violation laban dito kay Jexter Apinan in this game. I don't know if there's a uh, may effect yung parehong kaliwete rin yung uh, bumabantay sa kanya eh. Diba? Kasi yung stance nila pareho eh. Talagang nakaload agad. 
doon sa strong side nila sa strong side ni ni Apinan. At di ba sinasabi nila mahirap bantayan ang mga kaliwete pero pag kaliwete ang buha bantay sa kaliwete medyo mas luwadali ang buhay para sa depensa. Oh, but Angus could not convert. Yeah, back-to-back -back turnovers for Bacoor Strikers na hindi na-convert naman ng uh, Batangas Embassy Chill. And similarly, the strikers could not also buy a basket on their offensive side. Got it, leaving it for Montuano who loses the ball on the way up. And Batangas City was complaining that it went off the leg of Mark Montuano. Well, we're six minutes dito sa clock na natin, sa first quarter natin, pero okay, sobrang taas yung intensity, uh, Javi. But the score is deadlocked at eight apiece. Wala pa po pasok sa double digits. Three minutes and 35 remaining in the opening quarter. Cedric Blaza has now checked into this game as well as that guy, John Baloria. You see, okay, tignan mo yung gang rebounding ng parehong team. Galit kicking it out. Acuna trying to set up Moralde in the post. Backs down, Baloria, fall away, off to the right. Villanueva is there for the rebound. Apinan will not wait. Foul. Draws contact and he will troop to the line. Yeah, automatic talaga sa atin yun, K1K. Referees okay, will allow you to play off the ball, but yun on the ball, okay, you need to observe talaga yung rules ng fouls, ng proper defense. Hey, coach, makikita mo talaga yung trust ni Coach Solo Villanueva dito kay Jexter Apinal. Usually, if, if you're just any other regular player, after two traveling violations in the opening minutes, ilalabas mo na yan. Mm -hmm. But Jack Serapinan has been playing for Coach Solo for quite some time. And, you know, he's one of the elite elite players playing here sa Batanga City. Elite player in the MPBL, MPBL actually. exactly. Actually, ang, okay, I've been watching them for quite some time already. And uh, kay Coach Solo kasi, nakita ko yung, yung substitution pattern niya. Uh, yung, yung, pag, yung, yung different dimensions ng team and combinations na ginagamit niya. Okay, that's why to, okay, for tonight, I, I, I'm, I'm quite surprised na nag-start si King Importante instead of his dynamic duos. Itong si Apinan at si Ablasa na alam naman natin, kahit nakapikit na, alam kung paano magpasahan. They've been playing together for so long under Coach Solo Villanueva, Ablasa, and Apinan. And that, that relationship, uh, ang binunga niyan, parehong si Ablasa at si Apinan, Miembro na ng 1,000 point club dito sa MPBL. Yeah, totoo yan. And, and it's, a, it's the, the boat. Okay, both are testaments of okay, na matagal lang magkakasama at, mat, at, at yung masyado na lang kabisado yung laro ng bawat isa. Seven on the shot clock, but there's a steal by Acuna. It's completed and he will be fouled in the backcourt by Batanga City. Yeah, this is okay, if I am Mark Pangilinan, okay, having these guys around me, Sabi ko sa'yo, kay Javi, so, sobra-sobra yung kumpiyansa kung tumira ng three points. We have Lester Reyes, Chad Alonzo. They are galit. They are galit. And now, John Hamon is on the floor. Tapos you have a guard that you know that you will go safety. Itong si Acuna. Let's see if Mark Pangilinan can once again deliver a great game from the outside. Uh, it was four out of eight from three-point country in game two. Hamon receives on the right wing. Denies the screen. Floater is good despite the defense being draped all over him. Yeah, if kume baon yung mga players natin for today, definitely ito si Coach Willy, ito si Coach Solo, sinabihan yung mga bawat players nila, you need to bring your A game, okay, for, for this uh, game three. Gloria bumped off the baseline. As he was trying to cross. That's gonna go against Lester Reyes. Yeah, this is this is how you tell it. It's, it's a quality game. We're, uh, we're almost two minutes okay, in our first quarter. But both teams, okay, just committed two team fouls. Diba? Pero hindi mo naman masabi na hindi dumidepensa pareho. Eh. 
they're you, playing it honest. You would expect uh, that these two teams who aggressively play on the defensive side of the basketball, usually mataas yung number ng fouls na binibigay, but uh, they're really playing it right here. Come on. The spin. Oh, there's a steal by Baloria. De La Virgen picks up his dribble. Nobody to pass to. No problem. As there's a three-pointer down the lane. Para kay MJ De La Virgen. I think you don't give MJ De, Vil De La Virgen that open, that open window. Nag-iisip lang kasi ng papasahan. It takes, it took time. Walang kumrose out. Enough time, enough space. Okay, he's gonna drain that. He will drain that. Here's the basket by Cedric Ablaza of the feed ni Jong Baloria. At ito na nga yung sinasabi natin. MJ De La Virgen is a very known scorer and scoring is much more of a second nature to him than passing. He gives his team a four-point lead heading into this timeout. Talk about returning to form. Ito si Cedric Ablaza. Made up for a paltry first game against the Strikers. Only had five in that matchup. But then bounced back and had 13 points. 50% from the field. Hit 19 rebounds, coach. Yeah, and actually, Kim, alam mo naman, itong maganda rin yung challenge kay Cedric dito sa, sa front court matchup nila dito sa nang uh, with Baco or kasi may, they have the physicality they have the height they have the foot speed also to match him to match up against him and those those attributes that you just mentioned coach multiple players ang meron niyan dito sa Baco or City Strikers mm -hmm. na pwede dumepensa kay Cedric Ablaza totoo yan kasi yung yung pinag-usapan natin minsan Javi sa one of our coverage eh. if i am a team Okay, if, and I wanted to compete. Sino ba yung titignan kong team? Siyempre, itong Batangas Emphasy Shield. Kung kulang yung players ko na pantapat sa kanila, hindi pa ako pang championship caliber na team. I wouldn't even fight you on that, Coach, because they are one of the top teams here in the MPBL, one of the championship contenders dito sa ating liga. Uh, most of them uh, played for Coach Solo Villanueva when they were with the Makati Super Crunch. That's why they definitely have an axe to grind in wanting to finish this series and moving on to the next round. Alonso being pressured up top by Cedric Ablaza. Almost forces the steal. Hamon. Okay, shot Gets clock. Alonso. Three okay. seconds on the shot clock. Okay, there's Mark Pangilinan. Pangilinan could not bail them out. Yeah. Imagine in that, parang mix in in like six possessions already. This eh, Batangas Embassy Chill. Talaga nagpo force sila ng turnover. Halos hindi maka-attempt tong uh, Bacoor. Eh, you know, usually you wouldn't pressure a big man all the way far on the, uh, up the three-point line. But Batangas City is doing it. They're not taking any chances, really pulling out everything that they have from their bag. Uh, almost forced another steal there. But the uh, possession will stay with the strikers. Nine seconds on the shot clock para sa Bacor. And you know one thing na alam mo talaga, we are in the playoff right now, is Jong Baloria. Usually, nandun siya sa strike team ni, uh, sa strike group ni Coach Cholo eh. Di ba? Okay, and right now, he's defending well. And more than uh, defending well, he's also one of the great scorers that we have here sa MPBL. Isa rin niyang membro ng 1,000-point club dito sa ating liga. Imagine, meron kang multiple players in your team na member ng, ng elite group na yun. They're one of only two teams who have that distinct 
recognition as De La Virgen knocks one down from way out, his second three-point shot. 17 to 10, eight seconds remaining in the first. Acuna, Hamon leaves it for Mark Pangilinan. Mark into the lane, that's blocked by Baloria. Again, preventing Bacoor to make a decent attempt. Okay. This Batanga City is just on a mission defending. This Batanga City is on a mission okay, preventing na makakuha ng madaling tira itong uh, Bacoor strikers. And it's giving, it's giving them dividends. And one thing that has also been going for them, aside from their crazy defense, has been their three-point shooting coach. John Ray Villanueva already has two. MJ De La Virgen has two as well. And uh, they only had 10 three-point shots in game two. So right now, they're looking to up that total once more as they try to extend their advantage into an insurmountable lead here to prevent Bacor from getting game three here. 17 to 10 at the end of one. Really applauded the Bacoor City strikers for adjusting well last game, lalo na in executing plays and the press break. But he told the boys, we can't celebrate yet because the series is not yet over. In fact, this past week, after practice at Kerry Sports, the strikers bonded with food and met up with their team owner, Dennis Abelia, to discuss their game plan for today. Ayon kay Rocky Asidre, teamwork ang gusto namin ipakita ngayon. So as we enjoyed our chicken hot dogs, we also talked about how to execute the perfect full court press. Back to you, Javi and Louie. Thank you so much, Gianna. And you're seeing there the video from that practice session of the Bacor City Strikers over at the Kerry Sports Center in BGC. And uh, their post-game meal, enjoying themselves as they make a little team building just before game three here. But they're down right now by seven points against their foes, the Batanga City Embassy Chill as we enter the second frame. Okay, if you notice, no, halo similar din naman yung approach eh, is to relax. Diba? But I don't think that guy wants to relax, coach. Cedric yeah. Ablaza is looking to improve game by game dito sa serie na to. Posting only five points. Sakita natin yung stats sa kanina. And then went on to score 13 and grab 19 rebounds in game two. Yeah. Definitely, because again, alam naman natin na uh, Javi, kasama to, kasama, magkakasama to sa mission ni Coach Cholo. Diba? And now, and with, with, with Bacoor strikers right now, they need, again, they need, that's why I, I mentioned composure. Because they, they, Batangas is winning by nine, it's just scored 19, but remember, 12 of, 12 of those came from the three-pointer. Which to me, okay, siya, pumasok, mataas yung percentage. But they're still very much in the game. Now, umagi start sila ng ganyan. Okay, now, Mark Pang that was a good one, good set, para makatira itong si Mark Pangilinan. Didikit at didikit lang sila. 19 to 13 after that three-point shot by Pangilinan. There's the three-point field goal story on your screens. Apat na para sa Batanga City chill, chill. And the low pa lamang para sa strikers. There's a foul. Laban dito kay Andretti Stevens. Again, okay, okay, with that sequence, yeah, okay, you see, okay, a good screen, okay, Mark Pangilinan coming off to where he is best at. Diba? Itong taong to, pag nakuha yung rhythm ng shooting niya, talagang ha, mataas yung percentage na may titira niya. Eh. Hindi, alam mo, yung kahit gano'ng kahirap, pero sa rhythm lang siya so, nag-re-rely And nice to see him delivering talaga in moments where he is needed the most because 
Kung tatandaan natin, coach, during the regular season, he has been blowing hot and cold from three-point country. There was a long stretch where zero ang naging uh, marka niya sa three-point country. Yeah, and zero is like zero out of ten, <laughs> zero out of twelve. Pero at, at nasa balat niya na yan eh. Nasa dugo niya na yan eh. Talagang you give him that space, he's gonna take it. That free throw was brought to you by Extreme Appliances, ang subok at kompletong appliance brand ng Pilipinas. Ablaza knocking that one down after missing a free throw on the bonus earlier. Two for two para kay Cedric Ablaza. Six points in the game. Full court pressure once again para sa Batanga City. Ochea is the man guarding RJ Ramirez. Big to small ang naging matchup doon. Yeah, and, that, and that's a good move coming from uh, Coach uh, Will. Because you don't want to attack MJ off the dribble. You don't walk, you don't like to attack okay, uh, Baloria okay, off a dribble. Okay, ang pinaka, pinakamadali pa rin dyan, natakihin si Don Ochea. Diba? Two three-point shots by the Bacor City Strikers earlier. Mark Pangilinan ang kumamada galing sa labas. Right now, RJ Ramirez finding himself wide open on that left corner as they trim this lead to 5, 21 to 16. Time out, Batanga City Embassy Chill. This guy, RJ Ramirez, coming to the rescue in Game 2. Winning player of the game honors in that victory against Batangas. 19 points, bouncing back after only scoring 9 in the opening game of this series. Very efficient, 8 out of 15 from the field. Yeah, and, and, and sa mga ganitong series, ito yung mga players na sobrang importante sa roster mo. Eh. Ito mga, okay, mga two-way players like si, itong si RJ Ramirez na will give you points and also will defend hard. And he really needed uh, to get his numbers up in that game because they were very short-handed with uh, Acuna out in that game against Batanga City in Game 2. Meanwhile, Baloria draws a personal foul against the strikers and he will troop to the line for two shots. And you know, okay, that's one thing I've realized, okay, uh, covering itong mga teams natin sa MPBL. Most of the teams talaga, mas, mas marami na silang mga two-way player. Alam mo, yung mga combo guards talaga. Kasi okay, on how the game is being played right now, na grabe na yung scouting report, grabe na yung preparation. It can, okay, pwede pa rin naman yung, yung, yung dati, di ba? Yung dati, yung old, yung, uh, yung dating, yung passion ng paglalaro. Pero again, Sa dami na kasi nang nalalagay sa preparasyon, kailangan din, unlimited na rin yung magiging options mo. And you want players who uh, have more to show for in their bag, hindi lang yung scorer ka lang, defender ka lang. Mm -hmm. You want guys who can do a lot on the floor. And RJ Ramirez definitely is one of them. Having a hard time getting it to a teammate, finally does to Montuano. Now it's with Stevens. Yeah, look at the matchup of Bangisa and Mark Cruz. Montuano, a couple of fakes, sidestep, short on the lane. The aggressive defense continues here for Batanga City. Delebirin gets a screen from Cruz. Ablaza, that's too much space. MJ keeps it alive, but saves it to the wrong man. Ramirez, floater is good. Five points now in the game by RJ. 
They are coming out of the FEU program, which has produced a ton of great players. Toto, yeah. Which you were uh, part of, coach, uh, for some time. Valoria, the kick out on Shea. Not really his cup of tea. Now, okay, it's the streak of Bacoor now. Nakilangan is stop naman itong uh, Batangas Embassy Chill. Ramirez hands it off to Stevens. Dretti getting a ball screen, doesn't use it. Sidestepping into the lane, but was stopped there by the Batangas interior defense. White shirts will maintain possession. Yeah, quality minutes, okay. Quality minutes, itong binigay ni Mark Cruz. Tsaka ni Valoria, pero surprisingly to si MJ De La Beren, akala ko, he's still in the game. Kay ayun na talagang sobrang quality ang binigay para kay Coach Cholo. We bring in this epic move of the game in partnership with OK Bet on the win. Ramirez getting that top floater to go, high looper. And there's going to be a foul call against Cedric Plaza. Magisa ramming in to the Batanga City All-Star. But it wasn't an offensive foul. It's going to be a block. Laban kay said. Yeah, the 10 we have right now on the floor. Okay, mix. Ito ang quality na makikita mo. Okay, you can okay, expect it mo na mas maraming bodies na babagsak dyan sa floor. Okay, high fish. Okay, mas mas maram, mas magiging tataas pa yung physicality. Edsel Magisa sinking the first free throw. Like to take this opportunity to greet our FPBL treasurer, treasurer watching from Jensan, Asirayan the Pedran. Happy viewing to you, sir. Twenty-two to nineteen is the count. Lebang dito ang Batangas ng tatlo. A blaza off the down screen. Ball away. Missing badly. Strikers now with another chance. Pangilinan, same spot. Different result. But Edsel forces another possession. Kaya lang, it was tapped away by Importante. Again, and that's what we're talking about. Never turn your, turn your back on Jax Apinan. It's a break. He's gonna go all the way. One of the players at that four position who has that ability to handle the basketball, take it coast to coast into your front court, attack the rim. Although Cedric Plaza is the man at the line right now, that play was made possible by the aggressiveness of Jack Sarapinan. Let's turn you over to Gian Lianes. It doesn't matter how hard you work, I'm willing to work harder than you. Conuento de Cedric Oblaza, that to keep his composure during a game, he watches Kobe Bryant videos to motivate him, that being his favorite Kobe quote. Ayon kay Cedric, sinigurado niya na 100% siya for today. He spent extra hours with their conditioning coach this past week para dagdagan ang exercises niya at hindi siya mapagod agad ngayon. He even adds na his family is watching from home today instead of live at the venue para hindi rin siya mapagod driving them. In his words, I'm just really focusing on redeeming ourselves. Back to you guys. Thank you for that report, G. And uh, he is actually also wearing Kobe's shoes right now. It was said the Blaza. And he really looks laser focused right now. Look at RJ Ramirez. Oh, pressuring Rudy Lingana there. Yeah. But here, Apinan isolated against Bagisa. The tap by Ramirez. That's what he's there for. A lot of defense. That's a risky pass by Stevens. Importante bounces it off for Apinan. Almost a steal by RJ. Hernandez, specialty of the house. He yeah, has that. First three points of the game for the former Aureliana Chief. It's back to a seven point lead for the Blue Shirts. This three-point shot by Levy Hernandez is brought to you by Extreme One-Stop Shop Appliances. <laughs> Heavy pressure right there by Hernandez on Dave Moralde. And Coach Solo Villanueva is complaining that Moralde tried to lock the arm of Levy Hernandez. 
And because of that, Coach Sola will be meted a warning for unsportsmanlike behavior. Here's the play in question. But before Moralde, Bago niya tinaas yung kanyang kamay, tinamaan na ni Levy Hernandez. Yeah, again, the level of physicality, the level of yung mga referee, kaya how they gonna call the foul on this game will affect yung paano yung preparasyon ng both teams. So those are the things na kailangan na-establish na agad. Ramirez misses on a three-pointer, but Montuano is there for the offensive rebound and fouled on the putback attempt. Mark Butuano has not been putting up the usual numbers that we're used to seeing him put up. Had 11 points in their last game, only had 9 in game 1. So I'm expecting, Coach, a bigger game from Mark Butuano in game 3. Yeah, totoo yan. Kasi ang mahirap kasi, Javi, he's a Mark man already. And okay, all the denials, all the effort against him. Talaga nak makikita mo talagang if they're match up against Mark Montuano, talagang tinatrabaho talaga eh. And with Mark right now, alam niya yung role niya sa team niya. Siguro yung yung pagod, misan hindi niya pa ibinibigay. He needs to fight for that. He needs to fight for that position. Kasi alam naman natin, pag maginda maging output niya, malaking tulong yun para sa team niya talked about being a Mark man. He was 3 out of 11 in game 1. 27.3% but managed to up that to 45% in game 2. 5 out of 11. 6 both charities. Cuts it down to 5 point lead. 26 to 21. Butterfingers right there by John Ray Villanueva. Alam mo yun, misan kasi misan kasi yung parang lakas ng team mo. Parang ayun din yung kryptonite mo eh. Eh, sabi nga nila, Coach, diba, you will live and die by your superstars. <laughs> and let's see if Mark Montuano can make his team live to fight another day here in the FPBL. Levy Hernandez, though, wanting his own squad to make it past this round and on to the semifinals starting Tuesday. Montuano, one fake, power dribble, shot won't work, Importante gets the rebound. Tap by Moralde, Magisa able to keep it inside. What can you ask for? And this what makes them great, alam mo yun. Ito sila, Levy Hernandez, okay, yung mga scorers natin, na... Grabe, grabe yung binibigay na effort, not just offensively, okay? But they're doing it also on defense. Diba? And you just gotta love it when premier offensive players also have that effort on the defensive end. Yes. And mira mo, wala ka nang poproblemahin if you're the coach. And wala naman talaga sa, sa, sa basketball player na hindi marunong dumipensa. Javi eh. Marami ayaw dumipensa. <laughs> Tama yan. And you know, sometimes that what's, that's what separates the good basketball players from the great basketball players when you're able to put the same amount of effort on the offensive end and on the defensive end. Yeah, because it doesn't matter if you're making baskets. Because eh. iba kasi ang kanyang leverage kanila ng magandang laro nila kung nakashoot sila. Eh. Diba? Sa akin naman kasi, ang, ang lagi kong pinipreach yung player, mas masarap pa rin maglaro kahit hindi ka nakakashoot pero naglalaro ka. Tama. Diba? Eh, ba, ano, ano bang uh, popular na sinasabi natin dito sa basketball? Defense wins championships. Exactly. Two shots made at the charity stripe para dito kay Mark Montuano. Okay. okay from, the da from the sideline, you can see Coach uh, Willie there okay, signaling a 2-2-1 set uh, press. But Batanga is able to bring it across. 10 on the 24 for the Embassy Chill. Linganay drives left. Wild shot. Montuano gets the rebound. Ramirez over to Moralde. Galit is back into the game. Little brush screen by Montuano. Galit gets it back. JR short on the one-hander. Apinan. 
Yeah, could have been a good possession for uh, Bacoor. Actually, that's a decent shot. And that's another decent shot by Hernandez. Missed a makeable one. 28-23 pa rin ang ating score. Exactly three minutes remaining in the first half. Ramirez. Oh, Moralde was not ready for that pass. Kala mo nakakapagod tong ginagawa ni Coach Cholo Villanueva. Okay, nagko-convert, nag-change up ka every time down. But that's how prepared, that's how he wanted okay, to win. Oh, he's not taking any chances. Importante, almost traveled. Villanueva, another three-pointer. Knocked down by John Ray Villanueva. All of his points coming from beyond the arc. Galit to Destacamento. That pass meant for Moralde ended up with Galit. Now with Montuano who has swatted away. Vicious block right there by Dexter Apinan. Again, every time Bacoor tries to attack inside, walang nagiging madali for them. As a three-point shot by John Ray Villanueva. Third one of the game. Two on the shot clock for Bacor. Well, it seems Montuano did not realize that they had two seconds left. Eight-point lead para sa Batanga City, 31 to 23. Linganay. Okay, hey, there's the screen, the screen our action again. Abinan gets the offensive rebound. Hernandez passes up on the three. There's Too much passing naman. Three second violation. And you see Levy Hernandez and Johnny Villanueva telling King Importante, shoot mo na! Hmm. Pero ayun yung mga mistakes sometimes na Javi na madaling tanggapin eh. Kasi you know yung mga players mo are being unselfish. Diba? Nagtitiwala sila. Yung intention nandun mm -hmm. to get more success para sa iyong kubunan uh, resulting in a turnover. Timeout on the floor, 31-23 to 23 is the score. Do follow us on our social media accounts, Maharlika Pilipinas Basketball League on Facebook and at official MPBL on Instagram. Please use the hashtag MPBL Playoffs 2022. You're looking at the crowd here at the Batanga City Coliseum. Really wanting a victory for their home squad so they can continue to support their team here on their home floor. They're up by eight points right now, 31 to 23, under two minutes remaining here in the first half. Avi Palanya, joined by Coach Louis Gonzalez and Gianna Lianis, is at court side. Yeah, this is what I'm saying. Look at your focus. Eh. It's not, not just about the plays. Again, the focus ng ano ba yung game plan natin, yung defensive game plan natin itong. Uh, uh, Batangas Embassy Chill. They wanted to keep this Baco or team okay, busy, thinking. Okay, what ano ba yung ginagawa sa amin? Ayo maging comfortable. The destacamento runs into Levi Hernandez, who gives up the block right there. Uh, talking about the focus on defense, 
it's really hard to keep switching up defensive patterns. And sabi mo kanina, coach, every time Bacoor goes down on offense, more often than not, nagpapalit sila ng depensa itong Batangas City. That time, they were in a zone. Correct me if I'm wrong. Yeah, totoo yan. And actually, having the only time you can do that is your, if you are with the team okay, for so long already. Alam mo yun, kilala, yung, as a player, kilala mo na yung coach mo. Yung coach mo, kilala mo na rin yung players mo. That trust really uh, is something that has taken years and years of times together to be able to develop. At makikita na natin ngayon if that uh, relationship can produce more wins as they try to go on over to the division semifinals. But before they do that, they need to win today against the Bacor City Strikers. Yeah, yeah that's the first mo most important thing right now is to take care of what's in front of you. And it will happen. Diba? Hindi yung, yung small victories eh. Itong, itong parehong games natin ngayon. It's, it's, it's a matter of small victories. It's a matter of composure. Okay? Kasi hindi na pinag-uusapan kung sino na magaling dito. Eh. Lahat na kayo magagaling. Eh. Nandito na tayo sa stage ng playoffs eh. From 22 teams, we were down to the top 16. Top 8 from the North and the South Division. Earning the right to play in our postseason. And right now, we're nearing our division semifinals. Moralde sidestepping into the lane and drawing a foul. Batanga City vehemently complaining about that call. Yeah, this is one thing na wala na eh, natawag na eh. Okay, and they need to okay, control their emo emotions. Kasi baka ito pa yung makaapekto sa kanila. Makaapekto sa kanila. Okay? They got a warning already. Now they got a technical. You know, how I describe okay, both teams right now together with its players. Okay, Javi. Okay, in one word, it's quality. What we're seeing right now is quality. Though, okay, Bacoor is down by 8-8. Eight, eight, okay, you cannot count them out. Itong Batangas, alam mo, grabe yung pagiging, kumpe, pagiging in, 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 competition nila right now. Yung grabe yung naramdam, naramdam mo yung energy nila. Grab, nararamdaman mo yung will to win nila today. Pero again, they need to put everything in balance. Hindi pa pwedeng masyadong mataas lahat. Never too high, never too low, sabi nga nila, nila di ba? And that confidence, they draw a lot of that from the energy that their crowd brings wherever they play. Mapa Batanga City man yan, Mapa Jensan, Mapa Zamboanga. The strikers faithful, always there to support their team. Yeah, totoo yan. Moralde misses on the first shot. At Mantuana was able to drain the technical free throw earlier. That trims the gap to seven. Four points, two rebounds in this game para kay Dave Moralde. Two out of four from the line. Make that six. Sorry. Actually, sa ganda ng laro, Javi, hindi natin, hindi natin napansin, ha? There's only 40 seconds left in the game. Exactly. <laughs> Baloria off the down screen. In and out. Villanueva could not snatch that away from Moralde. Let's see if we're gonna get for two for one. No. Ramirez scouting the opposition. That's the screen. Blitzed by the Batangas defense. Almost turns it over. Yeah, that is what I'm saying. Eh. Naka, naka, po, naka sona. Pag nagkaroon ng pick and roll, bigla nagko-convert. Bigla nagtatrap. That's very unorthodox to do. Usually it's the other way around. Yes. Five seconds on the shot clock for the strikers. There's a steal by Ablaza. And clear the runway for Cedric Ablaza. Again, there is still time. Four seconds left. Oh, got it. Gives it. I, can, I, I don't think that's going to count. Yeah, I don't think as well. But what a way to punctuate our first half right here. Batanga City, it seemed that uh, they were kind of relaxing as they gave chances to the strikers to get back. But as the fire settled, 
They were laser focused once again, forcing turnovers, getting baskets in the open court, and establishing once again an eight point advantage. Yeah, and if you're Dave Moralde, okay, I think he, he is better than that. Okay, next play mentality, they commit a mistake, there's still time for a good for a good shot. Okay, you should have taken the ball, okay, take the ball out, and do na kagad, inatake na agad nila. And uh, on the contrary, that's not what happened as Batanga City, they look primed here to get this win over their foes, the Bacor City Strikers. Half time on the dito, analysis when we get back. Welcome back to Maharlika Filipinas Basketball League. The score at the half is 33-25 for our game between Bacoor and Batangas for our best of three playoff series. It is game three right now. And for our halftime, let's talk to the congressman of the 5th District of Batangas, Congressman Marby Marino, and the team owner of the Bacoor City Strikers, Sir Dennis Abelia. Sir Dennis, I'll start with you, Paul. We actually saw the pictures of you and the boys enjoying some hot dogs this past week. Alam po, you actually set that up so you can give them a pep talk before this game. Ano po yung sinabi niyo sa mga players niyo? Well, uh, lagi naman yung nagpe-pep talk sa kanila. Uh, Every day, pag nagpa-practice, uh, pag nandudun ako, well, yung uh, paglabas namin, siyempre parang uh, a little break lang na hindi muna basketball pag-uusapan, banding-banding lang kain, mapasaya dahil uh, ilang buwan na rin yung hard work na ginagawa ng uh, strikers team natin. And what we love about your team is even if you're facing a home team, lagi kayong may dala na sarilin yung crowd. And even beyond the crowd that's here today, I know a lot of people right now watching are supporting your team. Pasalamatan naman po sila. Okay, uh, pasalamatan ko muna ang ating uh, main sponsor, kay Dr. Richard uh, uh, Gomez, ang Piker Antioxidant, ang JCA Sports, ang 24 Alkaline Sea, ang Show My King. Siyempre, gusto kong pasalamatan na lagi nakasuporta sa amin ang ama ng Bacoor City, 
si Mayor Strike Revilla na kahit wala dito ngayon, by spirit talagang nandito siya at uh, sumusuporta po lagi ang kanyang asawa, si Ma'am Shay, si Baby Shaley, si Boss Rob Revilla. Binabati ko rin ang aking mga anak, si Adrian, Patty, Kirsten, uh, Ezra, Enzo, at ang aking kapatid, si JR, at ang Hineralao family. Thank you very much once again. That was the team owner of the Bacaor City Strikers, Sir Dennis Abella. Ngayon naman, kausapin natin ang Congressman of the 5th District of Batangas, Congressman Marvi Marino. Kong, I know that the biggest goal of your team for this season is the championship, and they've been showing a lot of heart this past season. Anong mga characteristics na Batanggenyo ang display ng koponan yo for this season? Siyempre, ang mga Batanggenyo hindi basta sumusuko. And uh, I think this, uh, we won the uh, first, very first inaugural uh, uh, season, and we we're very hungry this time around to win it again. So uh, it's a very exciting game. I'm very thankful na nandito ang buong uh, Batangas City para supportahan ang ating team. And I'm very thankful na ganito na rin yung uh, nangyayari. Wala ng pandemic at uh, masaya. And uh, very competitive yung uh, Batangas and Cavite. Parang laban to ng Batanggenyo at ng Cavitenyo. And we love coming back here to Batangas City Coliseum because you always have an amazing home crowd. But even beyond the people here, alam ko marami rin nanunood na sumusuporta sa kuponan nyo. Pasalamatin na naman rin po sila. Yes, una-una, maraming salamat uh, sa ating uh, sa team, kina Jerry T, kina Gilbert, at syempre sa aming uh, mayor, Mayor Beverly Dimacua, for uh, letting us use the uh, Coliseum. And of course, Senator Manny for uh, letting us... Uh, having this uh, MPBA league and uh, syempre higit sa lahat itong uh, mga sumusuporta mga nanonood na tagalunsod ng Batangas maraming maraming salamat po sa inyong lahat Maraming salamat po once again. That was the Congressman of the 5th District of Batangas, Congressman Marvi Marino and the team owner of the Bacaor City Strikers, Sir Dennis Abella. Ngayon naman po, let's see what everybody is saying online on the MPBL social media accounts about today's matchup. So let me get my phone and check it out. So the first one is from Del De Jesus who says, Laban lang Bacaor City Strikers, meron kayong kami na laging support sa inyo. Melski Aguilar says, Go, 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 Batangas Embassy. Good luck and God bless. This is the time to shine. Jerry De Leon says, Bacoor Strikers ako. Go for the win. Laban. Good luck and God bless. And Fefe De Linia says, Go, go, Batangas Embassy. Chill. Good luck, mga idols. Maraming salamat po sa lahat na nanonood ngayon through our social media channels. Continue to comment down below and let us know which team you are rooting for. In the meantime, magbabalik po ang Maharlika Pilipinas Basketball League.
halftime here at the Batanga City Coliseum where the home team is up by eight points, 33 to 25 against the Bacoor City Strikers. This is winner take all Saturday here in the Maharlika Filipinas Basketball League. Some highlights from the first 20 minutes of action. Donny Villanueva off to a hot start from the outside at three three-point baskets in the opening half. MJ De La Virgen also had his share of shots from the outside. And coach, it's the high-pressure defense of Batangas City Embassy Shell that has really been the name of the game so far para sa kanila. Yeah, it's true. It's really giving problems para dito sa Baco or City Strikers. And there's one instance there, like uh, five possessions. Kaya isa, parang isang beses lang nagkaroon ng, ng, ng decent na mahirap na tira pa itong uh, Baco or Strikers. And which is the, the main thing that Coach Willie needs to address to his team okay, if they wanted to win and compete against this uh, pressing Batangas Embassy Chill. Imagine already 16 turnovers forced by Batangas City dito sa Bacor City Strikers, which they already converted into 14 turnover points. But uh, we mentioned it earlier, you can never count out the Bacor City Strikers. And Coach Solo Villanueva himself said it in Giannis' report earlier that this is no pushover team. And at some point, some way they will try to fight back and make a game out of it. Yeah, totoo yan. Imagine, okay, they were plus six in possessions. Pero makita mo rin, hindi yan yung plus six na yan in sa possessions. Okay, meron pang free throws na kasama yan. Okay, points of, of turnovers. Okay, they were able to co co compete 14. Okay, it, at the start, it was Bacoor, okay, uh, na nakaka, nakakapag-force ng turnover. Bench points, alam naman natin, automatic yan. Alam natin yan, we will always go with Batangas. Pero look at the inside points. 10 points, okay, compared to 4, na alam, nat, na alam naman natin is the strength of this Baco or City Strikers. Pero hindi, hindi, hindi sila makapunta, hindi umaabot yung play doon eh, sa loob eh. Yeah, kasi sa taas pa, sa taas pa lang, ah, talagang ah, pinipigilan na yung atake ng Bacoor in Game 2. Points in the paint numbers, 28 all ang naging tala dyan. But right now, nakita nga natin lamang na lamang dyan ang Batangas City. Yeah, leading scorers here at the half for both squad. Cedric Ablaza leading everyone as well as John Ray Villanueva with 9 apiece. De La Virgen has 6 on uh, two turn uh, two three point shots levy hernandez with five sa kabila naman moralde montuano ramirez with five apiece and mark mangalina a solitary three point shot to show for yeah to, if, if very evident diba? it's only mark montuano pero yung five points niya na happy halos galing pa sa free throw hindi talaga galing dun sa kanyang strength na post play or kaya yung mga nail 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 spot na mga jumpers niya yeah they're forcing him into uh, free throws. Uh, hindi talaga siya nakakakumada galing sa field in this game. Zero out of six. Ito si Mark Montuano so far. Let's see if uh, he'll be able to convert on his shots come the second half where his production is sorely needed, especially they're down by eight points right now, 33 to 25. Cedric Plaza there on your screens. The all-star para sa Batanga City Embassy Chill. Jana mentioned earlier that he wants everything to go right in this game, even spending additional hours with their strength and conditioning coach to be able to give him extra mileage for today's game where they really need to win in order for them to advance. Second half now underway. Bakoor with first possession. Reyes gets blocked there. He's joined by Galit, Acuna, Moralde, and Mark Montuano to start the second half for the strikers. Meanwhile, Linganay is with Darwin Lenor, John Ray Villanueva, Dexter Apinan, and Levi Hernandez para kay Coach Solo Villanueva. Again, okay, in that first sequence, defensive sequence, you, you'll be okay, very evident there na Batangas, okay, doing it as a unit defensively and offensively. And it's been that uh, team defense that has been a mark of their season dito sa ating 2022 edition. Mm -hmm. Apinan missing on the first free throw. Dexter has, uh, if there's any knock on uh, Apinan's game, it's his free throw shooting in outside game. But other than that, Yung mga bagay na dinadala niya para sa kanyang kupunan are really very valuable. 
Yeah, yung presence ni Dex na kailangan mong... Kasi alam mo, he came rim run, in rim run niya. Problema palagi yan sa kalaban eh. Galit drives to his strong side. That's partially blocked by the defense. Now, they, they're getting decent shots. Itong uh, Bako Or. Okay, because they're, they're run. Okay, ang ganda nung zone, uh, zone breaker na ginagawa nila. Pero ang problema, hindi sila ready na i-take yung, i-take yung tirang yun. Para bang too good to be true na para masyadong komportable, parang masyadong madali, tapos hindi nila ma-shoot. Matangas gets the first points of the second half, courtesy of Darwin Lenore who makes his first appearance in this game. Acuna, bounce pass to Montuano, and once again, they force him to get his points from the line. Again, it's switching, okay, on, on dribble weave, okay, and trapping and hard showing on ball screens. They're, they're really doing everything they can to take Makor out of its out of its game. But with the way the strikers have performed all season, even if it doesn't look pretty, they will grind it out as much as they have to to remain competitive. That's the culture of this uh, Bacor Strikers team. Montuano hits the first. Alam mo sa totoo lang naman talaga, na-develop na lang yung ano eh, na-develop na yung fighting, uh, yung fighting spirit palagi nitong Bacor. Kasi alam mo, all throughout the season, parang they're trying to ano eh, figure out, di ba? And parang lagi silang nandun sa huling spot eh, na lumalaban sila ng lumalaban, kumakapit sila na lang kumakapit, eh, malalaglag na sila eh. Oh, it's just that finishing kick that, they're, that they've been having a problem uh, executing a lot of close games para sa kanila. Foul given up right there by Eric Acuna. I'm looking at Rudy Linganay right now, coach. It, the eyes... They say they never lie. And it really looks like he is really focused in this game. Yeah, alam niya. Winning time. And that's what... At alam niya, ito yung reason kung bakit nandiyan siya sa Batangas Embassy Jail. Para sa mga ganitong sitwasyon. Batangas gets the recycle. Nine on the shot clock now. Lunor. Little dribble hezzy. That's an offensive foul laban kay Darwin Lunor. Yeah, imagine if the Ike Flunor set that pick well. Okay, it's a two-point sana for uh, Rudy Lingana. Eh. Here's what happened there. Slight movement of the shoulder para kay Darwin Lenore that forced the whistle right there by our officials. Acuna attacks middle. Pass a little bit too high for Lester Reyes. Yeah, this is what I'm saying, di ba? Ma- yung madali eh, nakikita nila, pero hindi sila ready. Diba? Kasi tiniisip nila kung ano yung gagawin ng, dif- ng defense eh. And that's what, uh, ito yung magandang ginagawa ng Batangas FCC, Embassy Chill, na to keep, na hindi ma-establish ng Bacoor yung offensive sets nila. And Bacoor, you know, sometimes they're trying too much to think two steps ahead kung ano gagawin ng defense and sometimes that's not really good. Yeah. Babalik pa rin tayo dun sa usapan natin kanina, Javi. It's the balance that's more important. Live in the now, never too high, never too low. Mm-hmm. Tapos ngayon, okay, they were able to bring it in, 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 inside. Bigla namang crowded naman bigla. Lingganay, Lothar, kisses it off the glass. Down. And in para kay Rudy Linganay. First basket of the game for the former UE Red Warrior. Oh, Moralde, a rare miscue on the defense event para sa Batangas City. And one opportunity para kay Moralde. Now, okay, those things, ito naman yung, yung downfall ng ganyang classic defense. Pag medyo may isa lang nawala sa sink, will lead to an open shot. Moralde had nine points in game two. 
could not convert but gets his own miss. Another miss by the strikers. Eight points for it and Lamang Dito ng Batangas. 37 to 29. Apinan tried to get it to Lenore. Instead, they go to Levy. Hernandez with the easy two points. Again, that's it's getting to be the bread and butter uh, play. Nitong uh, Batangas Embassy Chill. Ay yung, ay yung play na yun. Okay, off a diagonal screen. Tapos may gakaroon uli ng down screen. Off down ngayon. Kinecurl na nila. Then attack. They're milking that one. They're, they're milking the basketball actions. Nayan. They bring you this epic move of the game in partnership with OK Bet on the win. And I na in a ni Coach Louis that diagonal setup after the double high. Nitong Batanga City Embassy Chill working to perfection once again. Moralde once again, our guest. On the charity stripe, missing another free throw, second straight. Para kay Dave Moralde, but tatawaga ng uh, disconcertion itong si Rudy Linganay. That's why it's gonna be two free throws muli para kay Dave Moralde. Yeah, second time already na nakakapa plus one tong uh, Baco or City strikers. Huh? This free throw is brought to you by Extreme Appliances. Ang subok at kompletong appliance brand ng Pilipinas. Ilang beses na nasusubok dito si Dave Moralde sa free throw line pero hindi niya makompleto <laughs> ang kanyang shot. Still no go for Dave Moralde. Zero out of three on his last three attempts. At ang mabigat dito, Javi, ito na lang yung mga madaling tira na kung pwede nilang makuha. Eh. Uh, that's why they're called free throws. On the other hand, though, Levy Hernandez breaks into double figures with that three-point shot. Easy handoff. The receive by Levy Hernandez. Galing kay Jexter Apinan. Moralde could not do anything right there to stop that shot. Yeah, imagine after missing those two free throws, titira bigla itong Batangas Embassy Chill at sasayawang ka pa ni Levy Hernandez. Nang ganong kadaling sa three-point shot. <laughs> Sniper out of Mexico City, Levy Hernandez. Ten points now to lead his team to a 13-point advantage as we go into this timeout. You can catch your MBBL playoffs Mondays, Tuesdays, and Fridays live on One Sports Plus, nine uh, and uh, Saturdays on One PH, five thirty and nine o'clock. Let's see what what's uh, okay. What did uh, Coach Willie set it set his players up? Okay, to stop the bleeding, they need to score a basket already. Down by thirteen. Here are the strikers. Montuano. One fake, adjusts in midair. Alonzo with the offensive rebound. Stevens are uh, really known for his outside shooting. Look at Mark Montuano, okay, fighting it out down low. Talagang, yeah, he really wanted to help his team. Pero again, walang na iba lang ibinibigay na madali sa kanya. Itong Batangas Embassy Chill. No reason to rush here for the blue shirts. Linganay. A little hesitation running the length of the baseline. Villanueva will be fouled by Andretti Stevens. That's going to be foul number two, Labandito by Andretti Stevens. Sideline inbound para sa Batangas. Hernandez. 
Pangilinan and all over that shot, in and out. Alam mong inahanap natin dito, no? Kaya, anong nangyari kaya kay RJ Ramirez? He has not seen action here in the second half. And we're already approaching the midway point of our third frame. Importante. Hands it off. Hernandez blocked by Pangilinan. Stevens having trouble with the handle. Apinan aggressively trying to steal that away. And he will be called for the foul. At itanay siya sabi mo, Coach RJ Ramirez finally finally plucked out from that Macor City bench. Yeah, okay, because you can, you can see this impact, eh, okay, right from the first quarter, every time he's on, okay, may, may positive na nangyayari. Ramirez had five points in the first half. As well as uh, three assists. However, he had four turnovers. Matangas now over the limit with four minutes and 45 to go in the third. Free throws have not been a friend here to the strikers, especially in the third quarter. Yeah, it's like early penalty itong uh, Batangas. Usually, in a game like this, okay, lalong lalo na itong mga professionals na to. Alam nila kung paano imi-milk yung, yung early penalty eh. Diba? They're doing it but they're, again, they're not converting yung mga fouls na binibigay ng Batangas into points. They have missed their last five attempts. Three galing kay Dave Moralde at dalawa dito kay Dreddy Stevens. They have another chance here for two. This time Chad Alonso will be the player to shoot those charities. Alonso scoreless in over 21 minutes in game two. Had five rebounds but committed three turnovers. And you know, he's not really a guy that you expect to put on the numbers in terms of scoring. But for him to only have five rebounds, that's pretty questionable para dito kay Chad Alonso. The toughness that he brings, ayun ang inahanap ni... Pero ikaw, kay bonus na sana eh, di ba? Alam mo, yun yung mga, yung mga players na ang role tulad niya nila. Chad, okay? If they can make free throws, okay, malaki yung bonus niyan para sa coach nila eh. Finally, a conversion from the line. Cuts this lead to 12, and they force an over and back. Laban dito sa Batangas City. And this is what I'm saying na in the presence ni RJ Ramirez. His activity on the defensive side just rubs off on everybody. Let's see. Let's turn see over if... uh, to Gian Lianes. Walang seed 7 or seed 2 sa laro ngayon. Isipin nyo palagi, pantay-pantay tayo. Sabi ni Coach Willie, that with his experience as a basketball player, that is the mindset he is trying to instill in the strikers now. Puro veterano daw ang nasa kupuna niya so they can't feel pressured. Coach Willie shares that when his team is feeling down, he likes to cite being a young Cebuano back in the day struggling to find success in Manila as a pro player. In his words, I had to fight to get to where I am now and I tell my boys that against all odds, we have to fight for that success too. Back to you guys. Thank you for that report, G. And uh, right now, his team is down by 12 still, but with the entry of RJ Ramirez, some semblance of life coming into the strikers. Ablaza, that three-pointer off to the right, but they give up the offensive rebound. Ochea, the kick out, extra pass, De La Virgen, a little bit too strong, fight for the rebound, has three players on the ground, two from the strikers, that's Stevens and Alonso, yeah. and Plaza from Batangas. And a different scenario pa. A little altercation happened. After that, Coach Solo Villanueva is on the floor complaining of a kick. Our referees will review this there now at the technical committee to see what happened. 
There's a three-point shot by MJ De La Virgen. Hindi natin masyado nakita kung ano nangyari. Oh, that was Ochea and Stevens. There's another angle. Ayan. I'm not really sure if it was a kick no, it's or not. Uh, just the momentum of Stevens going down from that fall. Pero po kung pareho naman sila nag-ipitan doon eh. Again, baka tingnan pa diyan yung nag nag uh, provoke na naglagay ng bigla ng bola doon sa mukha ni uh, Dreti Stevens. Eh. Let's see what the final call will be here. Referee now approaching the scorer's table for the official announcement. Galing kay Miguel Perey. Yeah, imagine in the first six minutes, almost six minutes plus, itong game natin, itong booking defense ng Batangas only allowed okay, Bacor strikers ng four points lang. Uh, five points pala. Yeah. Okay. And, uh, a, only a regular foul coach mm -hmm. called on uh, Dreddy Stevens. Up and on, receives the inbound. Baloria. That's a screen from Ablaza. Ochea. Misses on the three-point attempt and Alonso will secure the board. Pangilinan pops out. Puts the ball on the deck. Forces it up. Ball. Will point to the direction of the blue shirts. Again, no easy possessions, no easy shots. 42 to 30 pa rin ang ating score. 12 point lead para sa Batanga City Embassy Chill. De La Virgen at the controls here. That's an illegal screen. Laban dito kay Seto Blaza. And still pleading his case here. And they're going to review it. Uh, just a regular foul called on Seda Blaza after the review. At second personal laban dito. Kay Sed Ablaza. Ramirez being pressured by Ochea. They get it to Stevens. Montuano hands it off to Pangalina. Gets it back. Dreti drives down the lane. Tough Again, shot. mahirap na shot pa rin. Batangas player is down and it's Seta Blaza. A lot of contact on that rebound play. Here's the drive by Stevens. Had to adjust in midair. Yeah, a little bit of acting by Seta yeah. Blaza. <laughs> I don't think that's gonna merit an unsportsmanlike like foul. <laughs> yeah, that, that's definitely a foul. But no unsportsmanlike behavior right there. Body contact, a lot of that, definitely. Award-winning performance right there. Great acting job by Cedric Ablaza. Ayan ang din ang hirap eh, if you're like in the, with the image of Dreti Stevens, eh, di ba? He plays hard, pero okay, he needs, alam mo yun, yung markado ka lang. Kung may, di ba, may minamarka ang scorer eh. May minamarka ang din na mga ganyang klaseng player eh, di ba? Yeah, kaya naman na uh, konting kotak lang na ganyan. Kung may mahulog, talagang titingnan mo sa review. Oh, oh. Kung may nangyaring extracurricular. That's gonna be personal number four. Laban kay Stevens. Both teams now in the penalty with two minutes and 42 remaining in the third. 
Ablaza rattles in the first. Bacor has uh, really been experiencing a drought here in the third quarter. Only five points in five this points. period. And one out of seven is a free throws. Exactly. Batangas already up to 10 points here in this frame. The numbers of Cedric Ablaza on your screens, 10 points, 6 rebounds. Four out of seven now from the charity stripe after that miss. Oh, look at that pressure defense by John Maloria. Ramirez forced to give it up. Alonso the handoff to Pangilinan. Back to Chad. Alonso met by two defenders. Another tough shot forced by, by, the, by, by the Batangas defense. Alam mo, nafi-figure out nila kung nasaan yung uh, spot na pwede silang tumira. Pero the problem is, they're not taking that shot eh. Okay, alam mo, yun yung one dribble mo, enough time para makabalik, makarotate uli yung uh, defense. While Jong Valoria in Batangas, they have not had a problem scoring the basketball here in the third quarter. And patiently, they're running the set. Okay, they get that. Okay, okay the last time with uh, okay, Chad Alonso. Pero three times already with uh, Mark Montano. Pero hindi nila itinitira eh. And once na itinribol nila papasok, talaga nagko-collapse naman yung defense nitong uh, Batangas Embassy Jill. Chad Alonso had that pull-up jumper if he wanted to take it. But forced the issue and was met by two defenders. Sinaradong pinto exactly. para kay Alonso. Ramirez trying to make better on their percentage from the line. Sinks the first. Six points and three assists para kay RJ. Make that seven. 45 to 32. Still a 13-point lead for the Embassy Chill. Ramirez defending De La Virgen. High screen by Ablaza. Cedric. 4-3. Too strong. Ochea tries to put it back. Keeps it alive. See the battle down low. Gonna love it. Valoria, a little hesitation. Forced to kick it out. Ochea back to Jong. Jong for three. Five points by the former perpetual help standout. All here in the third period. The handoff to Galit, having trouble with the basketball. Five on the shot clock. Pangilinan, that's a forced shot. That's another stop by Batangas. Great defense by this uh, Batangas Embassy Chill. Valoria, post to post. Plus one. Hindi ko na pito sa ingay ng crowd dito sa Batangas City Coliseum. And one. Here he is, bringing it up the length of the court, challenging the defense of Montuano, who gives a slight nudge, which merits a personal foul. And here's three points. This is what Javi. If you want to score, if you want to make layups, defend. And this is what Batangas Embassy Chill is doing. Nakakakuha sila ng rhythm, nakakakuha sila ng uh, kumpiyansa dahil alam nila maganda yung dinidepensa nila. We're seeing flashes of Game 1 here in Game 3 where it was close until the midway point of that third quarter and Batangas was able to establish this same margin, coach. Yeah, and if you are Baco or you don't want to be down as big as this, okay, play na, na visiting team ka. Let's see if the strikers have one last fight left in them.
Oh, Moral, the dangerous pass to Pangilinan. Mark could not buy a basket. Ramirez saves it. Pangilinan, another one from downtown. Short. Moralde, back to Mark. Third attempt. Still no. Oh, careless pass by Cruz. That's a foul. Laban came Mark. Two shots para dito kay RJ Ramirez coming up. Tight rotation para kay Coach Willie Hineralao in this game. Again, digging deeper to his bench. Eh. Right. Dito niya mamimiss siguro sila Ian Melesio. Okay yung mga players sa kanyang hindi nakakapaglaro right now. Kasi especially ang kailangan ng bako all right now is someone na magpuput ng stability dun sa offense nila eh. Kasi dun nakakapitalize ng Batangas lahat eh. Kasi since na nag-error sila na nag-error, napupwersa sila ng Batangas to, to take uh, four shot. Which kaya na, dun, naman, dun, dun, dun sila nakakakuha ng puntos. Aside from Ian Milenso, they're also missing the services of Paulo Castro in this game. They're both not in uniform. Nine points now in the game para kay RJ Ramirez. Nine seconds remaining in the third. De La Viren. The kick out. Oh, Baloria is wide open. <laughs> that is all net. Para kay John Baloria. 12 puntos. Lahat nagbula dito sa ating third quarter. And more importantly, extends this to the biggest lead of the game for the Batanga City Embassy Chill. This is now a 20-point lead, 54 to 34. Yeah, look at this setup. Parang with Batangas, ah, pakadaling sumut eh. Okay, why with us? Okay, hindi na, parang ang hirap-hirap naman. Wide open. Ito si John Baloria, MJ De La Virin, attacking the defense, attracting everyone and making it very easy para kay Jong Baloria. Arrows out and the lead up to its biggest, 54 to 34. Song Baloria, 12 points all in the third quarter. More importantly, helping his team to their biggest lead of the game. 20 points right now, ang kanilang advantage laban dito sa Bacor City Strikers here in Game 3. The winner of this matchup will have the right to face the Rizal Centro Mall Golden Coolers in the next round of the playoffs. Look at that, Coach. Nine points in the third quarter while Batangas shooting 21 of their own. Yeah, okay, it, it, everything started with their defense. Imagine, this si is John, John Baloria, okay, a known scorer. But if you see that he's giving the effort that he's giving, he's giving the team to help his team on the defense, in the defensive end. As emerge as a great two-way player for Coach John Baloria. He's also one of the players that he's playing for Coach Solis in Makati. And also one of the players who are who is a member of the 1,000 Point Club here in the MPBL. What a luxury it is to have three of your best players part of that legendary club: Dexter mm. Apinan, Cedric Ablaza, and John Baloria, and still actively playing. Yes, 
<laughs> Legends in their own right, definitely. First coach Sola Villanueva on your screens. Miss by Jong. De La Virgen leaves it for Cruz. Failing to connect. Oh, Jong keeps it alive. He is doing everything. Ito si Jong Baloria. Defending, hustling, and scoring. Oh, gets Cruz on and, the roll and making a good pass. What can he do? Ito si Jong Baloria. Legendary status on full display. At ang mabigat pa dyan, pag napagod yan, ang papalit naman dyan, si Levy Hernandez. Oh my God. We're seeing the full strength of this Batanga City Embassy chill. Again, if they wanted to, to get back on this game, they need to start working now, not just extra. It's a double extra work for this Baco or striker team. Or maybe even a triply hard work needed here for the strikers. Ochea working on Hamon. Fall away, short. Ramirez, nagmamadali. Challenging Baloria. Jong thought he got all ball there. <laughs> RJ Ramirez is huffing and puffing. You can see he yeah. is very tired right here, but he is doing everything he can to bring his team back to contention. There's that beautiful pick and roll play between Baloria and Cruz. Yeah, this guy is a bowler. Like, alam natin maganda yung future nitong ni RJ Ramirez. Ramirez sinks his first. One of the multiple conversions he has had in the game from the charity stripe. Yeah, and it seems sila parang siya lang halos yung bright spot eh, para sa team ni Coach Willie Neralo eh. Exactly, he's the only one in double figures at least. This free throw, that free throw was brought to you by Extreme Appliances, ang sabukot kompleto ng appliance brand ng Pilipinas. Batangas gets it across. Deliver it. Manning the point guard spot para sa Batangas City. Ablaza, free for three. That's good. 13 points now in the game for the All-Star out of Batanga City. Moralde rejects the screen. Met by a double at the baseline. Montuano will try his luck. Finally gets one from downtown. Itong si Mark Montuano. Now finally, another guy in double digits. Para sa strikers. And that's the shot na kanina pa binibigay sa kanila ng uh, Batangas Embassy Chill. But they're not taking. Well, let's hope they finally realize that these are the open looks that they have to take. But De La Virgen is also capitalizing on the open looks being given to him by the Bacor defense. Eight points para kay De La Virgen. Yeah, okay, okay. What's hard with right now, ang, ang pinabayaan ng Bacor dito is with Batangas right now, you don't know who's gonna hit on you. Parang kahit sinong players nila nagko-contribute na eh. Earlier, you had John Ray Villanueva connecting from the outside. John Baloria has been able to find his stride. Seda Blaza as well. Different players stepping up in the scoring department. And you have Levy Hernandez, Rudy Linganay. John Ray Villanueva and Jake Serp of Apinan is getting ready to check back in. Montuana secures the rebound. Ramirez hooks a pass to Hamon. Has yet to score in this game. Tagas will set it up. They're giving Ochea a lot of space. De La Virgen comes off the staggers. Oh, great bounce pass to Cruz, who is skies high for the deuce. Beautiful setups para kay Mark Cruz. The other one, galing kay Jong Baloria. Yeah, imagine how tight it is with the Baco or striker and how loose they are the Batangas Embassy Chill players. De La Viren gets the steal. This time, finds Ochea on the secondary break. And Coach Solo Villanueva really applauding the effort of his squad right now. Here's that previous play 
Delivered ahead, coming off the staggered screens. Cruz setting a brush and then rolling to the basket. Great bounce pass there by MJ. Four points all in the fourth quarter para dito kay Mark Cruz. Again, with uh, okay, Batangas, okay, it's just being consistent. Ayun na lang kailangan gawin nila to end this game. Time out here on the floor. We'll be back after this. voice was silent to Bacor City Strikers huddle before this quarter as all of the boys tried to encourage each other. Chad Alonso acted as the kuya of the team telling his teammates to wag tayo mawala ng pag-asa while John Hamon kept repeating go hard lang tayo. Assistant coach Alvin Maranta chimed in saying wag natin sayangin ang last few minutes na ito hindi pa tapos ang laban. Earlier coach really shared na despite his years of coaching he is still learning a lot from the Bacor City Strikers. Buo na daw sila pagdating niya so he studied their character, tendencies, weaknesses and admired their fighting spirit. Spirit. He adds to the motivation saying, Hindi ako susuko ngayon kung lalaban pa kayo. Kaya pa natin ito. Back to you guys. Thank you for that report, G. Well, with five minutes and 33 remaining, they really need to work triply hard to get back from this 20-point advantage. They turn the ball over once again. Ramirez tried to get the steal, but eventually ending up with Ocea, who leaves it for Lingana for his fourth point of the match. Again, yung lumalapit na lang yung dahil sa sipag eh, di ba? Lumalapit na lang yung chance. Alika nga, di ba? Coach, fortune favors the brave. Exactly. And hard works, works. Tama. <laughs> Villanueva will check back in here para sa Batanga City as well as Andretti Stevens and Mark Pangilinan for what could be the final push here para sa Bacor City Strikers. You know what went very good with Bat the Batangas Embassy Chill right now, especially at this game, uh, Javi, is they were able to establish yung, ta yung totoong Batangas Embassy Chill. That, that they do it all on defensively. Diba? Kasi minsan kasi may mga games na lumalaban sila ng shootan eh. That's right. Diba? Very and, good point, Coach. Kumbaga, nailabas na nila yung kanilang uh, totoong laro dito sa game na to. Exactly. Ablaza checks out in favor of King Importante. This is still a 20-point lead for the Blue Shirt, 65 to 45. Right now kasi talagang alam mo, ang, ang nangyayari na lang sa coaching ni Coach Cholo is it's just, it's just managing. Okay, he just wanted the energy to be at that high. Okay, na consistent. Inaayos siya na lang yung playing time ng mga players niya. <laughs> And to add fuel to the fire, King Importante, who is not known for his three-point shooting, able to knock it down from the outside. 68-45, to 45, trying to take this game out of reach for Bacor. Ramirez will try from downtown. Still no go. Head coach, uh, I think this word very apt once again in this game, destiny. Exactly. Atanga City Embassy Chill pulling all of the right stops to be able to dominate this game. And they may be four minutes away from winning this series. John Amon trying to salvage what pride they have left there. 68 to 48. Abinan trying to locate Lingane on the handoff. Finally gets it to him. 
Seven on the shot clock. Rudy, too importante. Same spot, different result. Ramirez fires it on over to Hamon. Jan, 4 3. No go. And that's going to be it. Tanga City Embassy Chill. Safe to say, are three minutes and 10 seconds away from getting the victory here. Bakor, they get the steal. Hamon, despite the challenge, gets the three pointer. Oh, very importante. 12 points now in the game para kay Jan Hamon. And it could all go for naught as this team still down by 17 points right now. Time definitely not on their side. Cedric Ablaza and the rest of the Batanga City Embassy Chill imposing their will on both ends of the floor in this game. And what a dominant performance it has been para sa kanila, Coach. Yeah, surely dominance. Imagine 68, uh, 68 points. Okay. Converting 11 three-pointers. Okay. Doing it defensively, forcing turnovers. Okay. Doing extra passes. What else? Okay. All, almost perfect game for this uh, Batangas uh, Embassy Chill team. And maganda nga yung punto na sinabi mo kanina, Coach. There have been times, especially in the latter part of the season, where linalabana nila ang mga teams sa shootout, mm -hmm. which is not really their game. And nakita natin po ano yung tunay na laro nila in this match, where it was the defense that fueled their offense. Yeah, and... You know what? What's more, okay, uh, talagang uh, mas ma-appreciate mo yung ginawa ng, uh, ng Batangas Raiz. Yung defense, talagang kinakayod nila yung defense up to the last second. Okay? Talagang they're forcing yung uh, hindi-depensa nila hanggang dulo yung play naman ng uh, Bacoor. Eh. I'm, we're not saying na hindi nag execute yung Bacoor. Yes, nag execute yung Bacoor. And they're executing, executing decently. It's just, grabe yung binibigay lang din talaga na effort nitong Batangas Embassy Chill. And when you do that, that's not anymore just good defense. That's great defense. Alam mo, minsan, pag sinasabi, pag kinakausap ko talaga yung mga players ko, Javi, ito yung, ito yung isa sa bagay sa basketball na nakikita mo, pero ang hirap tapatan. It's the effort and energy. The Batanga City definitely displayed those two things right now in this game. It's easy, coach, to fall into that trap of uh, nalabanan ng mga teams in shootout because they're a very talented offensive team. If you look at their roster, a lot of capable scorers. But because Coach Solo Villanueva has established a kind of culture here where defense is heavily relied upon. Yeah, priority. Kasi minsan nagsisimula din talaga dun sa coach eh, na yung coach talaga mags magsasa mag magsasabi dun sa players niya na mag para manalo ta, kung gusto natin talaga to achieve greatness. Okay, we, we don't we don't we do it we do it defensively. Come on, hitting a three-pointer, 15 points in the game, down to a 15-point lead. But Batanga City will definitely take their time here. Linganay double teamed at the corner. Villanueva missing on the three-point shot. Oh, Alonso. Had to pick up his dribble. Come on, cross over into the lane. Backs it off the glass. Oh, ho, ho. Now don't look now. It's just a 13-point lead.
for Batangas. And Gonzalo Villanueva. Did I hear the buzzer? Oh, okay, yeah. no timeout. Sub. Sub so, lang pala. Yeah, isang maganda pa dito, kala mo, itong si John Ray Villanueva. Okay, yung kung paano niya sinimulan na i-break yung eyes ng game nila. He was the catalyst in that first period. Three three-point shots in the first quarter. Abinan, back door to De La Virgen, the kick out. Cedric Ablaza for three. Obacor has a chance to trim it to 10. Amon will not force it up. Ramirez, one dribble, the pull up, in and out. And it's just been that kind of night for the strikers. In and out, in and out. Bacor is still not in the penalty. They, they, they had this run. But again, the purpose, what's the goal of this run? It's just to end it decently. Diba? Not to win the game anymore. Uh, you know, they were down by 22 with almost three minutes remaining. Right now, down by 13. Reyes will give up the foul. That's the fifth personal capital moment for the big man and Pangilinan will check in para sa kanya. Again, alam mo yun, what goes to the minds of the, these players, di ba? Again, to them, it's sayang. Kasi, kasi at the end of the day, it's traba trabaho, trabaho makes it. I have you. At syempre, <laughs> pag tumagal ka sa playoffs, that means, you know, more bonus. Exactly. <laughs> At ba bakit nga ba naglalaro? Kabuhayan na ito ng ating mga players dito sa MBBL. Come on. Falling away. 12 seconds left. And we are definitely sure that the Batanga City Embassy Chill will run away with this. A great dominant performance here in Game 3. Winner take all Saturday, punctuated by a victory by the boys of Coach Solo Villanueva. Yeah, well deserved win for the Batangas Embassy Chill. Um, actually, all throughout the game, Javi came, came trying to, okay, to observe okay, what kind of preparation they did. Okay, kung ano yung game plan nila. It's not easy. It's not easy. Pa lang, Coach, sinabi mo na na yung opening defensive play nila, you said, Nagrabe ang uh, pinagprepara ng mga boys ni Coach. Yeah, it's not easy. It's it, you need full commitment to the to the players. Kasi yung ganong klasing defense talaga Javi, may rotation na napakahirap eh. Pero they committed to it, okay? And it worked. Okay? Now, ito yung nangyari. It was it came para naging naging walk in the park na rin yung uh, itong inexpect natin na magiging dog fight. And there were so much great performers in this game, John Boloria had a wild third quarter, but eventually we had to give it to this guy, Cedric Ablaza. This player of the game is brought to you by OK Bet, the official partner of the MBBL with OK Bet on the win. 13 points, 13 rebounds, double double performance to go with four steals and two assists. Yeah, toto, oh yeah. And also, okay, nakikita ko na na do sa interview. I'm also gonna give it to Coach Cholo Villanueva. Hell of a job, Coach. Those two guys are with Gianna Lianis at courtside. First of all, congratulations, Cedric, because you had a double-double performance of 13 points and 13 rebounds. This definitely was a game of defense. Very physical ang laro ngayon. Pero bawat bagsak, tumatayo pa rin ang mga koponan nyo. Ano yung nasa isip nyo to push through the pain and the struggles? Uh, basta lang, uh, yung binibigay lang namin yung best namin sa defense. Uh, more and more na effort. Uh, 101% sa defense yung ginagawa namin uh, every game. And ito na ay isa na naman milestone that you were able to achieve in front of your home crowd. Paano nyo dadalhin ang adrenaline from this playoff series into the next step? Uh, Siyempre, uh, nakaka-proud dun sa mga Liga Batanga City na thank you sa inyo sa pag-support at nagbibigay energy sa amin sa mga players. Uh, sana huwag kayo magsasawa, tuloy-tuloy lang. Kunan to rin sa akin kanina that your family is watching from home today. I'm sure proud na proud sila sa iyo and a lot of other people as well. Sino ang gusto mong pasalamatan? 
Ako na, papasalamat muna ako kay Lord sa mga Tanduay Management, sa Batangas. Uh, sana ko, uh, sana ko, uh, happy birthday kay Rutsel Rios, uh, anak ni John Ray. Uh, Choco Bam Bam, tapos uh, JBBI family, tapos uh, yun lang. Thank you very much and congratulations to Cedric Ablaza from the Batangas City Embassy Chill. This player of the game is brought to you by OK Bet, the official partner of the MPBL. With OK Bet, own the win. Now I will also congratulate, of course, the head coach of the Bataga City Embassy Chill, Coach Cholo Villanueva. Congratulations because you guys made it to the division semifinals. Now the theme of having unfinished business has been a recurring theme for your team. Paano ito nakakatulong at nakakapush sa kanila with every game? I just want to credit my players. It's uh, about them tonight. They gave everything they got and they played their best basketball when we needed it the most. So all the credit goes to my players, so they did a great job. Now for the division semifinals, you are actually facing the Rizal Golden Coolers. I remember you told me that you see a lot of your young self in Coach Jonathan. So paano mo i approach itong matchup going against Rizal? Uh, just like I said, they're a very well-coached team. Um, Coach Jonathan is one of the young upcoming coach and we're, we're ready for that battle. We'll just celebrate tonight our win and then uh, look at the film and uh, work on the next challenge. And I'm sure beyond the home crowd today, a lot of people are watching as well, celebrating this win with you. Who would you like to say hello to? Uh, first, I'd like to say hello to my wife. Uh, I think she's watching now and my, my mom. And of course, yung uh, pasasalamat ko sa mga fans ng Batangas. You, uh, yung, uh, kayo yung six man dito. That's why we had so much energy in tonight's game. Maraming maraming salamat mo sa Batangas fans. And of course, to Mayor and uh, Kong for, for supporting. And of course, Boss Jerry and the Ton Dwight family, Boss Gene, for uh, their support. They're always, gonna, they're always there for us. And again, sal maraming salamat mga Batanggenyo. Maraming po tayong lalaroin. Thank you very much and congratulations to Coach Cholo Villanueva and the rest of the Batangas City Embassy Chill advancing to the division semifinals. Now throwing it back to you, Javi and Louie. Thank you so much, G. And once again, congratulations to Coach Cholo Villanueva and the rest of the Batangas City Embassy Chill. You're looking at our updated playoff bracket. Well, finally, our cast for the division semifinals is complete in both the North and the South Division. That will start on Monday in Palayan City all the way in Nueva Ecija. Nueva Ecija will be going up against the Pampanga Giant Lanterns while Pasig City will be going up against San Juan in the second bracket. Sa kabila naman, uh, we have Zamboanga going up against uh, Bacolod and uh, itong uh, Batanga City going up against the Rizal Central Mall Golden Coolers. That's gonna happen on Tuesday. Games on Monday on your screens. Once again, that's gonna be in Palayan City in the Nueva Ecija Call to see him. Thank you for joining us for Winner Take All Saturday here at the Batanga City Coliseum. Uh, before we leave, uh, belated happy birthday to our executive producer, Nasi Miss Russ. And uh, for my partner, uh, Coach Louis Gonzalez, for Miss Gianna Lianes, and for all the hardworking men and women of our production crew, this has been Javi Palanya saying good night from Batanga City. This has been the Maharlika Pilipinas Basketball League, ang Liga ng Bawat Pilipino.